Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to look at an effect it's called Spotlight, at least that's what I call it. And let me play it for you. So basically the effect is kind of, it's kind of that documentary effect where you have the picture black and white. This is the famous lunch atop the, the skyscraper and it fades everything else out except for a portion of the photo and we kind of our attention is focused around that circle and so and then we either can fade back into the regular photo or actually just keep it like this if we wanted uh, for the tutorial I faded back into the photo but this is a pretty simple effect I'm gonna show you how to do it here let me delete all this actually and start from the beginning I'll pull my photo in here famous black and white photo make it a little shorter here I'm going to set to uh, an in and out point. Maybe I want my effect to be that long. And I'm going to go to this video generators. And I'm going to use the slug, which is under, um, which is right here on the main menu. I'm going to pop that guy in. And now it's in my viewer, and I just need to push this red button, which is an overwrite. And there it pops in the timeline. I'm going to drag it where I want it. You can adjust it here too if I want it a little longer. So now we have this black, black slug. And if you select it in your timeline, go up to the effects, video filters, and matte mask shape. And you can see there's this black square there now. So we're going to go over to our filters tab and edit that. And we're going to make it an oval. We're also going to invert it. And we're going to play with these guys. I'm going to focus it around this guy over here sitting in. He has a white shirt on. I'm going to hit the crosshair for the center and drag it over him. He's right there. You can see these two guys are kind of in the shot. So I'm going to just move this in a little bit more. And I'm also going to make this opacity a little bit lower so you can see kind of the rest of the photo I'm maybe 52 I like that number right there now we need a feather you can see it's pretty abrupt around the edges so select my clip here effect effect here video filters we're gonna go down to matte and right above our mask shape is the mask feather <coughs> So now we got the feather on there. Just go up to the filters and move the play around with this softness. I'm going to go about not too far, just a little bit of softness. It's just a subtle effect. Right about number eight. I'm on eight right now. So that's the effect. And uh, all you need to really do to make this kind of not just jump into the effect is add a cross dissolve, which you can find under your effects and under video transitions dissolve drag your cross dissolve in here and another thing put this cross dissolve in your favorites because you're going to be using that um, there's also a key command which is control um, T but I, I think I changed my key commands around so um, you can do that and then all you probably need to do is render it up really fast and let's see the effect Nice, it fades into that guy and pops out. So that's the spotlight effect. Play around with it. Um, you can do it with video as well, not just still photos. It looks cool, and uh, that's the end of the tutorial. Check out FinalCutKing.com, and we got a bunch of tutorials coming out this week, so check them out. They're all in HD. You can watch them on HD and YouTube and Vimeo and all the other sites we got them on. So. Check them out. Also check out the other free video tools we have on our website. We'll see you guys later.